Hello YouTube. Tonight I'd like to talk about Iodex. Most of you have never heard of this stuff. It's antiseptic ointment with 4.7% strength iodine in it. It's kind of like, um, what do you call it? Kind of like a Vaseline with iodine in it. It's at the same consistency. It's great for skin infections, minor cuts, wounds, abrasions, small burns, that sort of thing. Stuff's been around for like a hundred years. Comes in a one ounce glass jar. Plain Jane label. There are different variations of this uh, this stuff. They got a winter green type of uh, kind and a few others. Uh, again, active ingredient is 4.7 iodine, petrolatum, oleic acid, and paraffin. That's what makes the grease of it. Um, as long as iodex remains in contact with body tissues on minor cuts, wounds, and abrasions, the iodine gradually separates from the carrier and inhibits the growth of bacteria and promotes healing. Directions. Apply and rub until color disappears. If area is too tender, apply it freely, which means put it on kind of thick and just kind of don't, don't bother rubbing it in. And cover with a light, loose bandage. Cons, uh, cons caution. For external use only. Do not use over large areas of the body. In other words, you wouldn't grease your whole chest with this stuff like you would, say, Vicks Vapor Rub. It's not made for that. But, uh, my personal experience with it, this stuff does not sting. I haven't found the sting yet on, you know, cuts, that sort of thing. If you get a burn, um, and you put it on two or three times a day, you'll find that the burn won't leave a scar like uh, it normally would. Um, it kind of makes your body heal from the bottom up, whereas other stuff is from the top down, kind of, sort of don't know why but uh, all I can tell you is stuff works great um, I got some grandkids that are kind of young and they are into everything and of course young children you know three years old whatever have a tendency to fall down go boom get bit scratched whatever as they play it's normal God bless them this stuff works great put a little bit on them a little pat on the fanny and send them on their way and they're off playing again. I have not yet found it to sting. Doesn't mean it won't. I'm just saying it for my personal use. And uh, from all the reports I get from my uh, grandson, grandchildren's parents, uh, works good. And uh, stuff's been around for about 100 years. You got any uh, grandparents... Yeah, you know, in their late 70s, early 60s. They probably know about this stuff as when they were kids. It's been around forever. Um, hard to find locally. I haven't been able to find it locally. You can order it through your pharmacy or whatever. Uh, easiest place to get it is Amazon. It's about 12 bucks for a one-ounce jar. A one-ounce jar, if you don't use it up, will outlive you because it doesn't spoil. There is no use-by date. There's no best if used-by dates on these things. Iodine is iodine. If it doesn't evaporate out of the jar, it'll be as good in 20 years from now as it is today. This happens to be a brand new unopened jar. I have an active jar in my bathroom, which I use quite a bit. I've also found this stuff is great for, like, if you get an ingrown hair, a boil, uh, things of that nature. You rub this stuff on, put it on two or three times a day, and you'll find that boil gone. And, uh, and it takes the pain away, especially on boils. Um, I get a lot of those from time to time. I don't know why, but um, yeah, works great on you know boils, that sort of thing, um, ingrown hair. Um, you know, those things can be pretty painful when it's you know really really sensitive um, but this stuff a uh, matter of hours the pain goes away and it starts to starts to back down amazing stuff um, 
It's also great, I've found, for if you get a cold or you get a cold coming on, we all know those little warning signs we all have when you know you're in for a good week and a half of, yo boy, here we go. You take some of this and you put on your old pinky and you rub it around the outside of your nostrils. And I've put some inside my nostrils. Not, Don't go crazy with it or anything like that. But I've put it inside my nostrils, not too deep, around the openings. And you do this at like at bedtime. And next morning when you get up, you're going to find that cold's gone. It's amazing. Let's get this a little more centered. That's my webcam acting up. It's trying to autofocus and stuff. Um, this is the box. This is the box that comes in. Like I said, they make several different varieties of this stuff. This is the standard issue, the original formula. Look at that thing go. Wow. Um, come on already. Anyways, it's great stuff. Get a jar. Put in your medicine cabinet. Make a regular use of it. I prefer Iodex over any other over-the-counter antiseptic because it just plain works and there's no shelf life. It just it, the jar is good forever until you use it up. You know, I wouldn't leave it in your car to bake in the sun. I wouldn't leave it in your car to freeze overnight, obviously. But, I mean, if you keep it in your medicine cabinet, it's there when you need it. Make use of it. It's just fantastic stuff. This stuff is really big out in Europe and India, places like that. Um, it does the job. So I hope this helped uh, somebody. Like I said, you've got any old folks in your life, ask them about it. It's been called Black Sav. Um, the stuff is pretty much black. You rub it in, it doesn't show, it doesn't stain. Um, but it's black. When you open the jar and you look inside, it's 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 pretty black. But um, yeah, works great. Give it a shot. Um, great for any kind of skin irritations that I found so far. And uh, I'm just really pleased with it. I have a few. Uh, friends slash relatives in my circle that have been trying it out and uh, they're quite pleased. So again for like about $12 you can get it on Amazon and uh, don't have to worry about it being no good next time you go to use it because it has no uh, no terminal shelf life. It's just playing good forever as long as the jar is kept closed and uh, store it in your medicine cabinet, it'll be fine for, it'll outlive you. Of course, you'll use it up before then, but that's about it. Hope I, uh, hope I help somebody. And uh, goodbye. Oh, don't forget to uh, click the like button for me, please, and subscri subscribe. I'm going to have a I plan on doing at least a video a week. Uh, I'm going to get deeper into uses of iodine in general and that sort of thing. So if you're interested or whatever, pass it around. And uh, like I said, please click uh, you like it and maybe subscribe. Have a good day.